I tell people all the time, don't worry so much about solar panel warranties. Solar panels are super, super reliable, and I can't say they never fail though. So in this video, we're gonna show you one way that they fail and how we diagnose that and what it means. Hi, I'm Jason with Florida Solar Design Group. I'm the principal solar designer here and licensed contractor. And today we're talking about how solar panels fail. Now, we're not gonna talk about solar panel degradation. I have a whole nother video on that and I'm gonna put a link in the description below so you can take a look at that video. When I tell people don't worry so much about the solar panel warranty, I'm, I'm really talking about the degradation rate and how you're really never gonna be able to support a warranty claim and prove it and get satisfaction from a warranty because a panel has degraded over time. It's just gonna be very difficult to prove unless there's a catastrophic failure. Now, there is a reason that solar panels do fail and it revolves around how the strings of cells are put together in the panel. And what happens is there's bypass diodes in the panel that uh, help the panel bypass certain strings when you have shading issues and things like that. So um, I'm not gonna go into how bypass diodes work or any of that, but I'm gonna show you how we diagnose when there's a problem with a bypass diode and how it's a real obvious failure. Um, and we can use the Enphase app to, to do that. So I can dig in. You can actually see in your app how a panel reacts when it has a problem. And then I'll also show you in my app, I can see the nitty gritty, the amps and volts and how all that, that works. So um, without further ado, I'm gonna get on my computer here and show you what's going on. So we have this beautiful site here in Southwest Florida and we have a solar panel that's underperforming relative to the adjacent panels. And uh, this one panel every single day, it has roughly one third less power than the adjacent panels. So this is the panel we're talking about here. And you can see as we go from day to day to day in the monitoring app, what's going on. If we graph it, you can see here that every day it's a consistent 60 to 65 percent less power that the bad panel is producing relative to the um, good panel, or one third less power actually. So uh, day to day, yeah, it's uh, very consistent. Every day it's about 62 percent, and that is a definite indicator of a by why. So you can see the DC voltage here of the panel. It's kind of peaking out at around 24 volts DC every day. And this panel is rated for 40 volts at its maximum power, uh, maximum power point. So it's right around that two third marker. It's a really good indicator that one third of the panel is not working. You couple that with the power output the energy output every single day being down by one third compared to the adjacent module. And this is absolutely conclusive evidence that that's what the issue is. You know, unless you had a physical damage to the panel that was causing this, this is an obvious bypass diode issue. So this is where we'd get involved and get the manufacturer involved and say, hey, we have this data and it's an obvious bypass diode issue. And sometimes they're gonna ask us to do some additional diagnostics. And just like degradation issues, it's very difficult to prove these kind of issues and get the manufacturer to support their warranty. So it can be costly and sometimes it's just not worth pursuing a claim if it's later in the system's life. And obviously if this system was just installed recently, you'd want to pursue that claim and get them to honor it, replace the panel and uh, get it done. Sometimes later in life, you're not gonna be able to get that same panel. You'll have to put a different panel in there that might be a different size or color and it might not be the best option for you. Let's look at another system now. This client has a panel that's underperforming by about 25%. And if you look at the spec sheet for the panel, this panel has four bypass diodes in it instead of three, which is more typical. And because it has four bypass diodes, when one fails, that means 25% of the panel is going to be non-performing. And consequently, we have 25% less power output. So actually, this is a system that I did not install. The client contacted me from somewhere else in Florida. It was get, having a hard time with their contractor figuring this out. Um, Enphase even supplied them with brand new microinverters for this panel and uh, it didn't solve the problem. So I jumped in and obviously this is a, a bypass diode issue. But when I first diagnosed this 
system, I saw that it was down 25%, so I didn't really think maybe it was a bypass diode, being that most panels have three. So I pulled the spec sheet for this panel, and sure enough, four bypass diodes, and obviously that's what's going on here. If you're experiencing an issue like this, and you can see in your Enphase app that the day-to-day -day production is a consistent amount less than the adjacent panel, and it's something like 25% or 33% or 66%, you're probably gonna have a bypass diode issue, and the only solution to that is really replacing the solar panel. Fortunately, this is extremely rare. The number of warranty claims that I've actually processed for clients over the last 10 years, I can probably count them on two hands. It's very difficult to prove a warranty claim, and sometimes, again, it's just not worth it. So if you have a bypass diode issue, the right thing to do is to kind of figure out how much power you're really losing. Is it a big number in percentage terms, and how much energy over time is that gonna cost you? And then you determine, is it worth pursuing? So yes, uh, solar panels do fail, and there are potential problems with them, but it's so rare that it's really not something to worry about when selecting a panel, and you're, you're never gonna figure out if this brand over this brand is better. In fact, this is these were great panels that are installed, and, and you can see that they had issues. So you'll never be able to guess which panel's gonna be best, but ultimately, picking a good brand that will support their warranty helps, and uh, as a solar contractor, we can help you figure out what brands those are.